of mine is listing this house. She is going to be um, having a broker's open house today. So she's asked us to come in and shoot an episode, show off this amazing kitchen, and we'll have all the brokers in for lunch afterwards. So I'm so excited. This is a crazy awesome kitchen. So what I want to do is make something that would hold up easily for her group. So I'm making a white bean um, and tortellini soup. And it's a very modern house with like this warm, kind of rustic feel also, like Colorado-ish. And so I thought I'd, I'd make this really cool white, all white soup. And then we'll make a chai boil, so we'll do like an artistic green drizzle on top. And that, that'll be, it'll be, Kind of cool looking and but it'll also have a little bit of a modern twist and then a warmth okay so that's where we're going with this idea and this kitchen is just so cool it's got all these great features uh anyway so i'm going to put in a garlic clove this is a really really easy recipe too Almost all my recipes start about the same way. We start with some olive oil, we put in some garlic, and I like to put in my aromatics early on because I think they infuse the whole I think they infuse the whole pot. And I'm gonna use fresh rosemary today. We could use dried, it doesn't matter. But I like to leave it on the stick, and that way when, I, when the recipe is ready, when we're ready to serve the soup, I'll just pull the whole thing out. Okay. So I've got this beautiful ancho chili pepper here. I'm going to put in a pinch of that. I'm going to put it in now. It's going to start to smell really, really good. And I am using canned white beans. We could have soaked them overnight and used those beans too, but I do find it really, really easy to use canned beans. And so our soup is garlic, olive oil, some ancho chili pepper, fresh rosemary or dried, canned beans. So we're really not, I mean, it's not complex at all, but it's a great, great flavor going. And so if you are someone that watches your salt, you can rinse off canned beans. I do like the liquid. People ask me all the time, should I drain the liquid? Can I use the liquid? So we've got three options going, right? So you can rinse the beans and that takes away the salt. You can use the liquid to have more liquid in your pie. I like to do that. Or you can take off the liquid and just use the beans. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add all the beans in. We've got a pretty big group coming today, so I'm gonna use a bunch. And that's what I like about this recipe too, is we can play around with the ratios. Okay, so to that, I've got the beans in there. I'm going to add chicken stock. You could add vegetable stock if you'd prefer, and that would be vegetarian. And then I'm gonna just let that come up to a higher boil. I love her big gas range. Okay. And so what I'm going to be doing, when that brings up to a little bit more of a heat, I'm going to add in a handful of tortellini, just dry tortellini. That's going to re release some starch into that broth, and it'll thicken up a little bit. Um, if I want to, what I can do before I put in the tortellini is I can use an immersion blender. So I would just put that in, and um, I'll show you in a little bit. But I would put that in, and I would I would use it on just some of the beans. I would leave some beans whole, and I would cream up some of them, and then we get a more creamy soup. So again, we've got options. We can go for a creamy soup, or we can go for a more brothy soup. But for those of us that like creamy soups without the calories, the immersion blender is the way to go. Okay, so I'm not gonna pure up all the beans. I'm just gonna do a few of them to make it creamier. And this is just a personal taste, but I like some whole beans, and then I like some cherry. Okay, so for this Broker's Open House, we're making this really cool contemporary white soup with the white beans and the tortellini, and I want to make a really cool looking chai oil to kind of artistically drizzle on top. So it's not hard at all, okay? So all I'm going to do is take a bunch of chives, put 
them right into the blender. About half a cup of basil. And the best way to do basil is to take the largest leaf, wrap them all up in the largest one, they call it a cigar roll, and then just kind of run your knife through that way. Pop that in. I'm going to put in a little bit more basil and the white beans and the rosemary that went in there. It's going to be so nice and flavorful and the house is going to smell great when all the guests get here. I'm also going to put in about half a cup of cilantro. So we've got all these great fresh flavors. I am not picky about the stems because the stems have a peppery taste. So I don't want to add in all of them, but I add in some, okay? So if you get a few stems in there, no big deal. We're going to add in lemon. Oh, I gotta... We don't need the seed in there. Put in some lemon and some olive oil. And this chai oil is going to be good on anything. I put it on avocado, I put it on salmon before. It's great on everything. I've also got a pinch of this flaked sea salt. I love it. I love to put it on my tongue. It's like um, like a snowflake. When a snowflake melts on your tongue, it just like kind of goes, that's what the snow, uh, flaked uh, sea salt does. Just a little bit different. Okay, so. kitchen for the broker's open house and so we made a big pot of the white bean and tort uh, white bean and tortellini soup and then we made the really pretty chive oil so just to serve it I'm just going to take a little bit of the chive oil and we can just kind of drop it on there it's really pretty and it's going to add this huge flavor burst when they come in and take a taste okay I hope you enjoy it